What's going on everybody? So the short answer on is now the right time to sell is that I don't know. I don't know. You're ready to move when you're ready to move. But what I can tell you is that things have picked up quite a bit in the last month, month and a half. So much so that I think it needs to be heard regarding prices and competition in the marketplace, especially in the Tri-Valley. So 90% of my business is between Livermore and Alamo, that little 580, 680 corridor right there. And I have listings coming up and I have a ton of active buyers who are looking to purchase homes and actively writing offers. So I wanted to give you a little inside look uh, from the perspective of a buyer's agent trying to help buyers purchase homes and what the competition is like out there. So there's a house right here in Livermore that my client was interested in writing an offer on. And this was listed at, as you can see, around $2.2, $2.3 million. Beautiful, beautiful home. They ended up getting eight offers on this house. So it ended up going... Uh, about $150,000 over the list price. Another one here in San Ramon, a client of mine was interested in writing on uh, that they didn't end up writing on, listed around 2.55, 2.6 million, eight offers again. Now this one also went 100K over list price and a house that they ended up writing on in the same community, but at a, a slightly lower price point listed at around 2.1 million, again, over 100K over list price with nine or 10 offers. So short answer is competition is back in the Tri-Valley real estate market. The problem I see right now that is keeping prices up and the competition up is the lack of inventory. Now, why do we have a lack of inventory? That's because during COVID when mortgage interest rates were at the lowest they've ever been, you know, between two and a half and three and a half percent, depending on when you bought your house and if you bought points, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, everybody, if they were smart, and most people did, refinanced their existing home loan into a three, three and a half percent rate. So with rates being, you know, between six, six and a half, six point seven five percent, somewhere in that range right now, even though competition is up and that's good for their home price, they can't justify selling their three, three and a half percent rate at a good price for the house just to go buy something for, you know, a six, six and a half percent rate. So that's the issue we're having right now. There are so little homes for sale, it's insane. Uh, literally several homes, like that's it, like between five, 10 and 15 homes for sale. It's wild out there right now. So anytime something new comes on the market, everybody who's in the marketplace to purchase, I was sitting on the sidelines for a year when rates were seven, 8% and now they've gone down considerably, even though they're higher than where they were during COVID. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers for a loan amount between 8% and 6%. It's a pretty big jump. So people that have been waiting for the last year, they're back in the market now trying to take advantage of a 6, 6.5% rate when they were 8% uh, not too long ago. And they're all fighting over the same property. So right now, in my experience, I am noticing anywhere between 3 and 10 offers on most homes. Now these are traditional properties um, in traditional neighborhoods. The one-off type of properties, uh, they have special features or they have amazing views but they're on a, a steep hillside um, or they're really, really old homes that have been remodeled, kind of a, a historical type of property. Just the one-off types of homes that aren't your typical standard property that have a lot of recurring sales, those might sit a little longer. The other ones that might sit a little longer are overpriced homes with uh, unrealistic expectations from the seller. So keep that in mind if you're buying or if you're selling. I feel like this is all super useful information because you need to know what you're getting into if you're going to be purchasing a home. But that's what I'm experiencing. I have literally six or seven 
either pre-approved or cash buyers actively looking for homes. And it's just tough out there. Not to mention just finding a home they like with the lack of inventory. There's just not much to choose from to begin with. So it's not even like they're all writing a ton of offers and they can't get one accepted. No, we're, we're having trouble just finding a house that they love enough to purchase. And then when there is one that they love enough to purchase, you know, there's competition in other buyers who want the same house. So that's what I'm seeing right now. If you're a seller um, and you have plans on traveling after you sell because you're retired or you have the means to pay cash on the next house, things are really looking good right now as far as competition and offers go in the marketplace. So if you have uh, any thoughts on selling, I would consider running the numbers and deciding if that's a move you want to make right now. Obviously, I'm not in the business to convince anybody to sell. I would never, ever, and I never have tried to scare people into making a decision. No, I'm just going to give you uh, the information and the facts that I have as a real estate agent in the Tri-Valley and what I'm seeing from my experience and obviously let you make the decision on what you want to do. And then hopefully you just call me when you're ready to make that decision. So that's what I'm seeing right now. If you are a buyer in this market, the lowest hanging fruit for you right now, aside from hiring an amazing agent who's going to be looking for off-market properties or be trying to contact direct owners of homes and neighborhoods you want to live in, the lowest hanging fruit besides that would be identifying anything that's been on the market that didn't get offers. Those people didn't get an offer in a market where most homes are getting offers and they're going to be wondering why and why their home isn't selling. So if you could go in there, you have the opportunity to purchase a home with no other competition or at least very little competition uh, compared to other properties in that city or in the region. So I would look at those. The problem with those homes in most cases is obviously there's a reason why it didn't get any offers. But if you're a little open-minded to some remodeling or the house is a little quirky and you can look past those features, then that would be something I would be doing to avoid any competition and having a less stressful home purchase experience. Now, personally, I can't forecast the future and don't know exactly what it holds, but I can say there's a couple ways that this goes. One is that rates continue to go down, inventory does not improve, and prices and competition gets even crazier. That's one option. The other option is that interest rates go down, all the sellers and people who've lived in the region for a long time now can justify selling their three, three and a half percent interest rate and buying another house with a loan. So more people are willing to sell, which improves inventory and makes it a little bit easier to purchase a home from a competition buyer standpoint. Those are the two options I see happening. Uh, especially with the Fed talking about interest rate drops and all of those things. I guess there could be a third option where the Fed actually raises rates again because uh, competition in the marketplace is getting too crazy again and they're trying to cool things off. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. All I can tell you is that if you've run the numbers, if you want to move, you absolutely have to move, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you are interested in either selling or buying and you're in the beginning stages and you want to chat with me about uh, some options and what's happening in the market, I'm more than willing to do that. You can call, text, or email me any time of the day. We'll set up a call. Or if you've done your research, you know you want to move or you have to move for a job relocation or um, you know something in the family's happened and you just got to do it, Call, text, or email me as well. We can chat about your options, how the market's doing, and what you can expect. I'll always give you my honest thoughts, never pressure you into making a decision, um, and I'll work with you if you want to work with me. So that's it. This was kind of off the top. I don't really have a script. I'm just looking at the camera, uh, giving you my thoughts on what I'm seeing right now, but things have definitely picked up every property I'm seeing right now that's priced well, that's nice um, and cared for. 
in a traditional neighborhood or city um, is selling pretty quickly. Um, in that one to three and a half million dollar range, all of it selling pretty quickly. Anything in that four million and up range is kind of back and forth. You don't really know what's going to happen with it. It's not a sure shot, multiple offers in seven or 10 days type of property. There's a lot less people who can afford $4 million and up homes, but that one to $3 million range is really the sweet spot between uh, not so much Livermore, Livermore a little bit less, that one to two and a half million dollar range in Livermore is, is pretty hot. Um, but that $3 million that one to three million dollar range rather between Pleasanton and Alamo is uh, selling quickly. If there's something you want to talk about or any questions you need answered as it relates to buying or selling, reach out any time of the day. I would be glad to give you my honest thoughts and eventually help you if that's something you want to do. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video.